Hi everyone and welcome to this week's Bite Size Story. As you can see, I've been getting my Easter decorations out this week and these letters reminded me that we here on Bite Size are looking at the colours of Easter. Last week, Carol shared the first part of the Easter story and she said it reminded her of a colour. I wonder, can you remember which of the colours it was? That's right, it was the colour green. If you can't remember why the Easter story or the first part of the Easter story reminded Carol of the colour green or you maybe missed last week, then go and have another look at Carol's video and watch that part of the story again. We're going to hear the second part of the Easter story this week and so as I tell you the story, maybe you can listen along and try to guess which colour it's going to be next. So to tell our story today, I'm going to need this piece of paper. And the story really is about the story of the whole Bible. We know from lots of the things that we've looked at here on Bite Size that the story of the whole Bible is about how much God loves us about how much he loves the people that he has made and how much he wants to be friends with us, he wants to be close with us and he wants to spend time with us. And because he loves us so much, he sends us Jesus. And every story that we look at here on Bite Size or if we're back at church, tells us about Jesus. It points to him and it tells us how he was part of God's rescue plan. We know from the Christmas story that God sent Jesus to earth to be born as a baby. We know that he wasn't born in a palace, he wasn't born to kings or princes, even though he's the son of God. But instead, Jesus came to earth in a very simple way and was born in a very humble, simple stable. As we keep reading the Bible and we keep hearing more stories about Jesus, we hear all about the wonderful things he did when he grew up. We hear about the people he met and the friends he made. And we hear all about how Jesus didn't spend his time with important or rich people. He spent his time with ordinary people, with tax collectors, with families. And a lot of his friends were actually fishermen. And we hear so many stories about all of the wonderful things that Jesus did. We hear that he was able to heal people. He could make blind people see. He was able to feed thousands and thousands of people with hardly any food at all. And he was even able to use his voice to calm the wind and the waves of a storm when he and his friends were out on a boat in the middle of the lake. But all of that wasn't enough because there is still a problem. The problem is that people are still separated from God. We know that we do wrong things and we know that God is holy and pure and he is perfect. And because we're not, we know that we can't be close to God. And that means that we're separate from him. We can't be with him. And we can't have that special relationship that he wants us to have. And so God sent Jesus to be more than just an amazing storyteller and miracle worker, but to be a really important part of his rescue plan for us by dying on a cross. Some people didn't like Jesus because he said he was the son of God. And although he was, and he hadn't done anything wrong, he was punished. He was whipped and beaten, and then he was put on a wooden cross to die, and he had nailed, nailed through his hands and his feet. The cross was on a hill beside some other criminals and there was a sign that was put on the cross above him and it said King of the Jews. As they waited for Jesus to die, the soldiers gambled about who would be able to win his clothing using some dice. After Jesus died, the soldiers stuck a spear into his side to check that he was really dead. So why did Jesus have to die? Well, when we do wrong things, we have to accept that there will be consequences and we are punished for the wrong things that we do. Maybe if you tell a lie or hurt your brother or sister, you might have to spend some time in a timeout space or lose out on a privilege. And it's the same for sin. There should be a punishment for doing wrong things. 
But because God loves us so much, he sent Jesus to be punished for the wrong things that we do instead of us. And it was all part of his rescue plan. Jesus was sent to die on the cross so that we could be free. I wonder, did anybody work out which of the colours this week's part of the Easter story reminds us of? Well done if you said the colour blue. Because this part of the story isn't a nice part. It's not nice to think about how much pain Jesus was in. It's sad to think about all the suffering he went through. And it's sad to think about the fact that he died on the cross. But what's really important to remember is that this was all part of God's big plan. His big plan to be able to become close to us again because he loves us so much. And next week, we're going to look at another part of the Easter story and learn about another colour and see that this wasn't the end of God's plan, that there was an even greater part yet to come. So keep an eye out for that video next week. But now it's time to see what our bonus video is going to be today. I wonder what it's going to be. It's a what's cooking video. Have a look at our next video where you will be able to join Carol and Zara for an amazing Easter cooking craft. It's full of lots of sugar and you will have a lot of fun making it. Enjoy and we will see you back here next week for the final part of the Easter story.